Welcome to ECU Masters Training Part 15. In this video, we're going to take a look at working with our EGO correction. Our EGO correction is going to allow us to take a look at our actual lambda sensor reading and compare it to our target lambda reading, and it's going to have a difference there, a lambda error. It's going to be looking at that lambda error and trying to get that error as close to zero as possible. So it's going to be increasing or decreasing the amount of fuel in our injector pulse width that's delivered to our engine. It's going to be acting as a constant modifier trim as our engine is running to get our air fuel or the lambda readings dead consistent what we're trying to target. And we can use this as a long-term correction. We also can use this in our calibration process for the main fuel table. I'm gonna be going over both within the video. So let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our EGO correction within our EMU Black software. Now before we jump into the training tutorial here, I wanna make sure you have the correct page layout open. So you wanna select your main tuning page layout template. If we go here to desktops, go into open desktops template, move down here into the main tuning. This is the option that you wanna be selecting. This is what I have open on my screen right now and it'll allow you to follow along with what I'm gonna be showing you here in this tutorial. We're gonna move across from setup and then we're gonna move here into fuel. Now under the fuel page, we're gonna find if we have everything we need for doing our fuel calibration and tuning. And that's gonna be including the EGO correction. That's gonna give us a way we can tune our VE table here much, much quicker. And I'll be demonstrating that in this video. So we're gonna find within the page, we have our main VE table. We have our target air fuel table or the target lambda table. We're going to have our EGO parameters here that we can program. So it's gonna be functioning as we'd expect. We have a proportional table and integral table, part of the PID corrections going on with our closed loop lambda control or the EGO correction and then we find our EGO update this is going to be also part of our EGO correction or the uh, the O2 correction going on we also find two gauges here at the top we have our EGO correction that's prominently displayed because we're going to be using this and guiding us when we're making our changes here in our actual mean VE table if I have a value of 100 there's going to be no kind of modifier going on if it's 90 it's going to be taking 10% fuel out it'll be 110 it'll be adding 10% so keep that in mind when you're looking at the gauge It'll be working just as we find other correction modifiers, so warm-up enrichment, IAT, uh, the differential fuel correction, um, and taking a look at our barrel correction. We know how that all works, so it'll be scaling things. The similar idea, if it's going to be showing um, a positive value over 100, it'll be adding that much in percentage, or going showing lower than that, it'll be taking that out, making that percentage change. We also find that we have our lambda reading. That's going to be coming from our lambda sensor, so this will be part of how the EGO correction works. Now we also find on the left hand side of the screen here, we find all of our fueling calculations, our basic information, our enrichments that can be applied at any time, and then finally wideband information. And at the very bottom of the screen, we find our graphical plot window where we can start to graph things if we want to take a look at things in that format. So before we go here and turn on the EGO feedback and talk about all the different parameters to program, let's understand how this works and how it's going to be an important part of the calibration process. So the EGO correction is going to be taking a look at what our actual wideband reading is and compare it to what we're asking for in our target air fuel table. There's going to be a difference. In fact, it's called the lambda error. It knows the lambda error, that whatever that, that percentage is going to be, and it's able to then make a change to the injector pulse width based on the percentage difference between our actual reading versus the target reading. And essentially, it's going to allow us to true up the injector pulse width. So let's just say if it's 10% off, if our air fuel is 10% rich, the EGO correction will show in here, it'll take out, it'll go to a value of 90 or take out 10%. It'll lean out the air fuel mixture by 10%. The injector pulse width will drop by 10%. And we'll find that we should be then hitting our actual air fuel and it'll hit the target. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.